Hello and welcome to SageX3. In this learning session, you'll learn about some important new productivity improvements, including the ability to edit server locations from the Microsoft Office ribbon, exporting of tables in CSV format from lists in SageX3, automatic ODBC creation between Crystal Reports and SageX3, and a new web-based Gantt chart widget. How do the new improvements benefit you? First of all, it's now easier to edit or delete server locations right from the Microsoft Office ribbon. Next, exporting to CSV format means data is easier to read and can be used by more systems. Also, there's better connectivity between Crystal Reports and SageX3. And there is improved browser compatibility when using the Gantt chart in SageX3. An enhancement when integrated with Microsoft Office includes a new Server Location Edit icon on the Sage tab. This new icon is located adjacent to the Server Location field on the Microsoft Office ribbon. Clicking the icon opens a window in which you can change the order of server locations or delete them altogether. Another enhancement available when integrated with Microsoft Office includes the ability to export to CSV format from many grids within SageX3. The CSV format allows for comma-separated values so that data displayed is easier to read. This new feature can be used to export tables as pure CSV files, which can then be used by any Office package and by other operating systems. When you export the CSV data from a list in SageX3, the data displays neatly within separate cells, as shown in this example. Another enhancement includes improvement with connecting to the ODBC data source in Crystal Reports. When editing a report using the Crystal Report Connector plugin, the required ODBC data source is now automatically created. ODBC provides access to the database. Yet another enhancement includes improvements to Gantt charts that display within SageX3. The enhancement provides web-based technology and replaces the previous Flash component to improve browser compatibility. Now let's take a deeper look at some of the new productivity improvements. We'll explore how to export a list to CSV format as well as look at the new web-based Gantt chart graph. In this first demonstration, we've been asked to export a components list for a work order in CSV format. So let's open the work order under Manufacturing, Planning, and click the Components tab. Click the Action icon on the Components list, then click CSV Export. A message appears asking if we have the latest add-in installed. In the CSV Export window, click Export. Notice that a document icon appears on the page. We can choose to open or save the document at the bottom of the window. Let's save the document and then open the file. In our example, the document opens in Excel with the data nicely separated into separate cells. In this next demonstration, we'll take a look at the new web-based Gantt chart. Still within our work order, click Scheduling in the right list. Then click Graph. In the window that appears, we can see the graph representing the data that was selected. Now you've seen some of the productivity improvements available in this release of SageX3. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about SageX3 and Sage Learning Services, visit the Sage University website.